Here we are. Welcome to MPA session one. We got a battle here, two private school programs, one out of New Brunswick, one out of Toronto, Ontario. Ross Say Netherwood takes on Royal Crown. Joe, this is Royal Crown's debut. I know they have some big time prospects on this roster, including Vermont commit Sean Blake. This is gonna be a big test for RNS. They've had a a tough first session schedule as they get busy. Titus knocking down the three, picking up where he left off in the last game. He's gonna have to play big for these guys to stay in it. Yep. What's your uh, what's your setup of this game? What's the preview here? The preview, I think it's gonna be the matchup of the guards for both sides. We got a chance to see RNS in action yesterday and the yep. day before. They got Faro Nation, Titus Heron, kind of steering the ship in terms of leading their offense. Nice. Wow. Nice shot there by Farrow right on cue. <laughs> I just heard someone say, and, and before they walked away, well, it's creator Chris, I'm just going to say it. He said, RNS upset, and then walked away. Mm. I was like, okay, it's a 5 0 start. I like it. Yeah, and then just speaking about the guards, of course, Royal Crown's got Vermont commit. Top point guard, Sean Blake, Justice Hazley, and then off the bench, they've got like a good cycle of guards because then they'll have Isaiah Spencer coming in the game. So the guard play is going to be prominent. Yeah, I, th I think RNS's guards can kind of hang with with anyone in the country. I mean, they've um, they can score, but I think from the last game, what I noticed is they need someone to set the table properly, yeah. balance the floor, control the game's pace, and I think that's going to have to be Pharaoh Nation because you know this guy here, Ooh. he's going to keep shooting, Titus, <laughs> and hitting. RNS has got to feel good right now. Yeah. This is unexpected right here. We have an upset brewing. Yeah. Here's Hazley. Inside to Declan Cutler. Loses it there. Good D by Dorsey. And then even that matchup there, Dorsey and Cutler, that's going to be a good one to watch. Cutler might have an inch or two on Dorsey, but Dorsey's got some strength. Royal Crown, uh, of course, it's, it's their debut for the yep. season. They're coming in, RNS is warmed up. They're gonna probably take a couple of minutes to have to shake off the rust here. First game of the weekend. Here's John Ipatokin. It's to Rainer Glenn. Rainer signals for the handoff to his point guard. Titus letting it fly. Oh. He's feeling good. And Blake in the open confident. court is where he's best. Yeah, you could see, uh, you know, so far either flat or short. Yep. So far for our Royal Crown. Here's Dorsey down low. Nice steal by Sean Blake. Open court. Good bump and gets it to Austin. Good. Again, that's what he does best. Open court. And I think if Royal Crown speeds up the pace, it's in their favor. They have the size, they have the length, they have the athleticism on RNS. Austin good feeling the pressure from Rainer Glenn. I like that. Yep. Blake swings. One more swing to Hazley for three. No good. Titus Heron. Here's John at the token. Good decision. Yeah. Slowing it down. And use your size inside. Draws a foul. I'll head to the line. If I'm an uh, RNS, I'm trying to keep the pace slow, steady mm. in the half court. Yep. You know, attacking attacking the rim there, good decision. Didn't take an early perimeter three. Yeah, because you don't want to run out with the Royal Crown's guards. They've got great quickness. Pretty good pretty good size too. Yeah. Both around 6'3. And if and if I'm Royal Crown, I'm trying to get to the rim. Yep. You know, leverage my size, leverage my athleticism, put pressure on the defense right now. So far, they've been settling for a lot of threes. Blake attacking left, kick out to good, pump fake on the floor, offensive foul, push off.
Dorsey. Daisy collects the rebound. Gets it to Blake. Blake with the crossover into the three. Kaboom. That's tough. Shot creation. From the three-point line. Yeah. And you know, that's one of the signs where you, you have a next level player yeah. when they're able to create space and make plays just off the off the flow, off the dribble. Yeah. Big shot. Good inside. Class of 2025. Played for Team Ontario with his fellow teammate Justice Hazley. He looks the part. I mean, just, yeah. just looking at his you know, frame, he's got some good muscle mass. Definitely. Good length. Yeah. Inter nice interested to learn more about him. Yeah. Blake. Nice ball movement here. Blake, another three, no good that time. There's Rayner. Takes a screen from Dorsey, hits Nation, far three, no good. Kept alive by Heron on the long board and Nation cuts and attacks. Another lefty layup for the guard. Interested to see if uh, if RNS can ex continue to extend this lead, yep. how Royal Crown would respond, like from a mental perspective. Yeah, you know, because this is like a, a stunner a little bit, but still early. It's only eight yeah. points. You know, you can't really jump yeah. to conclusions. Could it's just a hot start. Yeah, I can definitely see them just getting into a rhythm, settling in. They don't look phased. No. They look like they're just running their stuff. Kemi Ose in the house, just walked uh, walked by the camera there. CEBL alumni. Played for the Saskatchewan Rattlers, reconnects with CEBL director of ops, Jason Tom, who's in the house as well. Nice pass by Hazley. Nice block. Right, the token outside of Haley, no good. Isaiah Spencer checks in the game. So no drop off in production from the guard position for Royal Crown. Blake, kick out. Here's Titus. Into the trees, no good. Bit of a force. Blake going end to end, showing that quickness. Hoff take. Draws a foul and just does a push up on his way back up. Seven for RNS early on. Defense is tightened up here for Royal Crown. Good contest, no good. Good defensive possession.
short range jumper is no good that time. Carved up the defense. You know, you're starting to see some trends of guys that are looking to be leaders of the scoring category in this league. And I would say that Titus is one of those guys. Yeah, for sure. He'll be up there. Trailer. No That's good. good shot. Little fight for the ball. Stepped out of bounds. It's gonna be with the Royal Crown. Early nine point lead here, 150 left in the first. Here comes Isaiah Spencer, 2025 20, point guard. Gets it inside, nice cut or pass, sorry. Arnest still in control. I mean, yeah. got a, almost a quarter uh, under the belt and uh, started off strong and holding it down so far. Yep. Their guards really came out swinging. Titus and Farrow, they got 14 of the team's 17 points. Wow. So basically all the field goals. And Can't say we're surprised three. about that. Yeah. thing about this RNS squad is you know they're going to continue to get better throughout the course of the season. Yep. We've seen that with uh, Damien's teams. We've seen that, as we mentioned before, with Angelo's teams. And uh, they're always going to fight, no matter what. Hazy, nice pump fake to the corner to Spencer. Spencer gets to his mid-range. Nice. Money, he's great at that too. Just like Sean Blake, great at creating shots. Seems to start to get some flow of the game on both sides. Teams are answering each other as the three goes. Nice shot, Xavier E. Big shot there. Cuts it to six. 30 seconds to go. Yep. Xavier He, another one of their 2025 prospects, 6-6. Six, six. Good defensive stance there. You know, Royal Crown, a program that definitely is attracting and uh, by with purpose attracting international talent. Yep. Here comes Titus. Coach Damien Gay telling Titus get to the middle. About a one second differential between shot clock and game clock. John Epitokin. Jab into a one dribble mid range. That was tough. That would have been a big shot just to extend the lead there to end the first quarter. But Royal Crown's got momentum right now, under three seconds to go. Pass up ahead, stolen right away by Arnes. Big great, shot. Great patience. All right. That was a good first quarter, 19 to 13 for Arnes. Going to take a quick break and then come back for the second.
All right, second quarter. If the rest of the game was as entertaining as the first quarter, then we got a good one on our hands. And it's not heavy scoring either. It's yep. just, uh, <laughs> I think it's the storyline behind it, right? Yep. You know, you don't expect, my man, you don't expect uh, RNS to come out swinging like that. And to hold it down for an entire quarter, but the boys came to play. Threes up, off. If you're Coach DiGiorgio in that end of that first quarter huddle, what are you telling the squad? I'm telling them to just continue to play your game. Don't change anything. Continue to run your offense. Stay disciplined on defense. First quarter is just 10 minutes. You got 30 minutes left to go. Continue to chip away. If you believe you're the better team, then it's going to show throughout the course of the game. Maybe, if anything, just increase your effort level and, and higher level of intensity on both ends. Mm -hmm. That definitely doesn't hurt. Yeah, I, I think that uh, they kind of came out without a sense of urgency. What's up, brother? Mr. Miller in the house. Older brother of Fort Erie alumni and now Minnesota Timberwolf, Leonard Miller coming in. Paisley corner three. He's now 0 for 3 from behind the arc. I want to see him use his quickness and get to the rim. That's what he does best. Yeah, I think they've been, uh, like I said, just nice uh, pass. haven't come up with a sense of urgency. It's kind yeah. of been lackadaisical. Maybe it's because it's their first game of the weekend, but uh, yeah. maybe underestimating the RNS squad That's out of New Brunswick. The last thing you want to do, they'll make you pay. Austin, good. And you gotta believe these teams are, you know, watching the scores for the other games. Mm. You know, they saw a blowout yeah. uh, loss for RNS against Fort Erie, so they're kind of stacking it up that way. Yep. Or it could be just they're warming up their muscles, you know, yeah. you know they came lo loosening up. Just came in from uh, Scarborough. Yeah. Not a short drive by any means. No especially on this fine Saturday afternoon. Farrell get to a spot, tough shot, wow. They needed it because they had a yeah. three, four minute stretch without a bucket. But I think that goes to show how increased the intensity is on Royal Crown's defensive yeah, end. Definitely. Even the shot that RNS hit, like if you're Royal Crown, you're not mad. Like that's the shots that you want yeah. to take is contested. Absolutely. Nice take again. RNS, four point game. Farrow, trailer three, wow. wasted no time. <laughs> Man, he's gunning. He's trying to make a statement. I, I like how aggressive the guards are, you know, continuing to apply pressure, just play with confidence. I think they're playing very loose. Yeah. And um, to be honest with you, those, those two guards are going to have to have big games to stay within this. But I'd love to see uh, once he gets back on the floor. Uh, another one. Oh, another sure. one. Uh, I'd love to see John, uh, the, big, the big guy uh, for RNS, get a little bit more active, a little, uh, yeah. apply his presence on this game. Yeah, yeah. Because this is what you get in the NBA. You're, you're not competing against your local talent anymore. You're competing against the best players in the country. So you got to be able to take that test and then match that level of competition. It's the only way you're going to stand out as a prospect. Take. Charge. Sean Blake checked back in for Royal Crown. And uh, both Pharaoh and Titus for RNS have combined for 19 wow. of the team's 24. Oh. So they're tied right now. Those two are tied with Royal Crown. Wow. <laughs> Mm. 
Greg Dorsey with the mid-range, no good. That's a good shot. You'd like to see some of these other guys get on the board just to... Yeah. Good, good, good defensive play there. Get some emotional uh, engagement back in there, but just to see a couple of the other guys get on the board so that Royal Crown can respect those guys yep. as threats. And it'll take the pressure off Titus and Farrell, right? Like, for Definitely. them to have to keep up this level of play for the entire game is going to be a lot to ask for And they just guys. subbed off Farrell, yep, so... so. Where's the offense going to come from? Let's see what the plus minus looks like. Good thing we can check the Swish app for Not that cool. afterwards if we need to. God bless Swish. Yep. <laughs> Titus. It's good set oh, play right there. Yeah. Beautiful. Number seven. For RNS. David Alugu coming in. Hasn't seen too many minutes yeah. in the first couple of games, but. Came off the bench and hey, he's like, you Stay gotta ready. respect me. Stay yeah. ready, exactly. Blake, spin middle, so fast, so quick. Can't get that layup to go. Oh! Yeah, looks like he extended that off arm. Way to be aggressive, though. Timeout called. Eight-point game now for RNS. They're not letting up. Holding Qu it down. Yep, quick timeout break. Six oh seven left to go in the first half. Royal Crown down by eight in their first NPA game of the season. Sean Blake, quick jab, goes right, kick out, blocking call on RNS. Baseline out. Blake, mid-range, good contest. Rainer Glenn. RNS came in like, hey, taking the taking the names away from this game, we're just five guys against five yep, guys. That's it. Fight us. Oh my, that kind of looked good too. I, it seems like everything he lets go is yeah. like has a chance. Nice take. There's John, to your point earlier, you want to see him be yes. more aggressive, utilizing yes. his size. An aggressive strength. at the rim as well. Yeah, exactly. That's what you need from him. Get their bigs in foul trouble. Slow the game down. Establish something in the interior so you can spread out the floor. Otherwise, mm -hmm. defense is going to come out on Titus. Yeah. T Titus can mess around and, like, become an NPA legend in this game. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Leading scorer. He's going yeah. to 2K mode right now. Yeah. <laughs> kind of reminded me of J. Rel Diggs back in the mm. day. JRL Diggs. Out of Nova Scotia, yep. led the NPA in scoring. I, I actually remember it was him and his teammate Jordan Prasad. Yeah. Both of them on Oakville Prep were the number one and two leading scorers in the NPA. Kind of reminded me of that scoring guard. Mm -hmm. Might be undersized, but it doesn't matter. He's a dog. Microwave can heat up real quick. 
Arnes holding down a nine point lead right now. Five minutes to go in the half. Good defense there. Yeah. Royal Crown responds with a defensive stance of their own. Hey. It up. Hayes lead a good connection. Dorsey. Hand off to Glenn. Heron. Dorsey lifted the pivot. You could see the uh, bit of a defensive adjustment now on Titus. Guys are picking him up beyond the three-point line. Yep. So Titus comes out, Farrell comes in. Coach, Coach Damian Gay trying to yep. Chest preserve match. their energy. Ball's going the other way. You know, they say the best defense is a great offense. Yep. Sometimes the best offense is a great defense. <laughs> and they're uh, turning defense now into exactly. an extra position on the offensive side. And what I mean by that is, like, RNS is applying pressure. Yep. Defensive pressure. Not just the other way around. Ooh. Almost got that one to go. That was pretty. Farrell, pump fake. Mid-range, no good. Love the second chance effort there. Yeah. Blake for three, no good. Stepped out, yep. I'd love to see Sean Blake utilize his speed, quickness, athleticism, just go downhill, you know. Yeah. Uh, apply pressure on the defense. Yep. Make them make a decision, you know. You're yep. gonna foul them. Get to the rim. Yep, 3.44 left in the first half and we got a timeout break. And we're back. Yep. 3.30 left in the half. RNS clinging on a seven point lead. Haven't, have led the whole way so far. Yep. Came out punching, came out swinging. Good for three. Barrel. Ooh. Oh wow! That that was definitely looked like a four-point play. There. That hundred percent should have been. He took away his space to land, bumped him midair. He's still nothing but net. Wow, that was, that was fluid. What a that was, shot. That was nice. That's John, right? Yeah, it was. Wow. Twenty twenty-five. Yep. Six seven maybe yep. six eight. Mm -hmm. Shoots the three, doesn't shoot it a lot, but has put up a couple, like I yeah. told you in that first game, I mean, it looks smooth, it looks yeah. consistent, he's been efficient with it. 
I would just love to see him turn it up in terms of his aggression, his assertiveness, because yeah. when he touches the ball, good things happen. Yeah. If he was able to get that four-point play just from a momentum standpoint, mm. that would have For got sure. RNS going. Nice ball movement. Boom, Rainer Glenn. <laughs> wow. Wow. RNS. They're stunning. It's in the house, folks. It just shows you, you know, you got to come to play yep. in the NPA no every single who. game. I mean, Fort Erie beat RNS in a blowout win. That was their first game of the session. So, you know, you just got to stay ready, right? You can't, you, there's no time to kind of. Warm nice. up, and then they're just yep. mounting this lead here. 12 points with two minutes left. That speaks to the parity, right? Because a lot of people had a Royal Crown coming in as the second best team after Fort Erie. And then Fort Erie beats RNS nearly by 50 in the first game. Mm -hmm. So, what does that say about the parity, right? If, if Royal Crown on paper might be the second or third best team, but are struggling with a team that's that why lost, we play right? the game. Exactly. Ooh! Jeez, John P. Trying to bring the house down. And that was a big shot there for Royal Crown to stop the bleeding. Wow. It looked like he was looking down on the rim. John Ipatokin, one of the standouts of this NPA session so far. Got to stay aggressive. Arnest got to be careful here. Royal Crown can pick up momentum easy. And John P's had a couple, you know, attempts. He's, he's definitely thrown down maybe the most dunks in the, se in the session, but he's had a couple attempts that were extremely impressive. I mean, I would say he's got high major athleticism. Yep. Just got to put it together. Thirty-six to twenty-seven. Twenty-six seconds left to go. I can guarantee that John P is a name that coaches are going to be asking about after this session. John Itpatokin. Sorry, I have a job. <laughs> John IP. Who's John P? We're going with John IP. <laughs> yeah. That's new nickname. John Ip. Ipkitoken? Ipkitoken. Thank you for the correction, Joey Moose. Weak side help there. Got to get it right. Absolutely. <laughs> attack there. And I think that's the formula for Royal Crown. You gotta keep attacking the rim. Don't have too much size on the RNS side. Get a couple of the bigs in foul trouble, then it's it's wide open. Quick timeout before the final 10 seconds of the first half.
All right, folks. It's been a good one so far. Probably game of the day with RNS up six against Royal Crown. Titus. Oh, good D. That'll do it for the first half of play. It's been a good one so far. We got second half action coming to you shortly.
Second half action, we are back. Will RNS pull the upset of the season so far early on? Um, I know going into this game, RNS was a heavy underdog. They're in a rebuild year. You know, Royal Crown has definitely got some dogs on the squad. They got talent. Uh, and all what you see now is an RNS team, in the first half at least, they were in full control. Up six going in a half. Let's see how Royal Crown responds. I know Coach DiGiorgio and Coach Exilis most likely gave the squad an earful at halftime to try to get the engine going. And so far, they're starting off strong, punching first, cutting the lead down to four. And here's four points unanswered. Quick lay by Justice Hazley. Timeout called. And uh, right now, momentum is shifting. Great timeout call by Damien Gay. He sensed it yep. and wants to cut the bleeding immediately. Titus for three, trying to pick up where he mm. left off. No drop mm, off. Mm, mm, mm. Tough. Blake. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Back to back threes. Yo, Titus is making a name. I mean, that's a hell of a name as yeah, it is. Titus Heron. I feel like there's some biblical reference there. The I have to do some Google searching afterwards. Wow. Those are two big buckets just to maintain the lead, shift momentum back in their favor. Gamer. Paisley step back three, no good. Out of all these highly recruited guards on the floor, mostly on the side of Royal Crown, the one that's stepping up to the plate is 2024 Titus Heron out of New Brunswick, playing for his hometown, RNS. We got a chance to see him this past summer. Nice finish there by Blake at Canada Basketball Nationals. Right when I saw him for the first time, I knew he was a high level scoring guard. But the level he's competing at now, there he is again. None other than Titus getting back to the line. It's the first free throw. It's like every time Royal Crown gets back within striking distance, Arnes comes back with an answer. In control, mm -hmm. you know, you thought maybe the first two, three minutes, you know, they get, a, got on a, get on a big lead, hit a couple shots, and then you thought, you know, Royal Crown might settle it down, neutralize them a little bit. Yep. But credit to Titus and RNS, they're coming in waves. Nice D by Rayner. Blake just so quick. Couldn't finish at the rim that time. And the thing about RNS and, and Titus and, and Pharaoh and the guy, they're playing loose. Yeah. Not really, 
you know, stressed about any shot. They're not hesitating. Mm, not they're not questioning it. Yep. They're just they're just letting it fly. It's what I like to call flow state. Flow state, and it typically happens when you're an underdog. Yeah, you know? you're just no pressure. Fly. Yeah, no pressure. Most people coming into this that know anything about these teams would you know would expect them as an underdog, expect RNS to lose. So they're just like, hey, we're playing like we got nothing to lose. Oh, collision in the rim. After this, we've got Edge taking on for Erie Red. Four o'clock Eastern time. Edge going into that game 2-0. and oh. So both teams undefeated. I'm really interested to see how they're tested here yep. and how they respond. Probably playing the most, most talented team they faced so far in the session. Oh, big block. Yeah. And one. Great follow. Greg Dorsey. We talked about it in the first half, you know. Titus, you know, he's going to do him. He's going to hit shots. Pharaoh's going to hit shots. But who's going to be that next guy to step up and continue to be a threat? But that's a perfect That's a perfect role for the big fella because yep. they're drawing so much attention um, when they're attacking the rim. Stay around the rim. Get an offensive put back. And just play with effort on the offensive boards. Cutler at the line for Royal Crown. 6'10", 2024 forward. It's the second. Declan Cutler already holding offers from Eastern Michigan with interest from Seattle, UC Irvine, Cal, San Diego, Idaho, Idaho State, Western Michigan, out of British Columbia. Looking for a big year from him. It's great context, Joe. Thanks for that. Yep. Scouting perspective. Blake at the rim, no good. Here's Titus pushing it to his backcourt mate. Could it finish? Went up against four on that position. Might want to take that one back. Nice finish by Hazley. Slow it down if you're RNS. Get a good shot. Yeah. Within four. Yeah, this is definitely a game. John, no good. Would have loved to see him shoot it on the first attempt. He kind yeah. of hesitated a little bit. Kemi Osei in the house, yes, sir. CEBL alum, <laughs> Saskatchewan star. <laughs> We're live on the broadcast, baby. Oh yeah. Kemi Osei came up the ranks, Quebec provincial team player. Beat, if I'm not mistaken, with a team Quebec squad that beat Ontario in a big one at Nationals. Mm. You know, moved on to play D1 basketball, played pro, played, uh, as I mentioned, with the CEBL, University of Saskatchewan, and now assistant coaching with Fort Erie. So you see that theme often. Yep. Former players coming back in the scene, giving back to the next generation. 
just a great way to stay involved in the game, right? Yeah, and just like sharing your experience, mm. giving meaningful purpose to what you do every day. Yeah. Both free throws good for Hazley. Two point game. Let's see how RNS responds. Up by two. Deep three by Titus, not good. That time. He's usually had the answer. Yeah. Once uh, our, our, excuse me, once Royal Crown creeps in a little bit. Royal Crown trying to get their first lead of the game. As crazy as that sounds. Nice drive, no good. with the right idea, applying pressure. <laughs> I'd have a quick timeout break. Return for the final 3.51 of the third. All right, we're back. Final 3.51 of the third quarter. Two-point game. RNS has led for majority of this one. But Royal Crown's right there in striking distance. Austin good at the line. And during the break, uh, former NPA commissioner broke my heart. Invited him on the broadcast, but, you know, we're going to apply some pressure. Public pressure now coming at him to bring him on, get his thoughts. We've been talking about all the CEBL connections, you know, Kemi Osi. We, uh, in the previous uh, broadcast, talked about Mike DiGiorgio. He's with the Scarborough Shooting Stars. Chris Exlis is actually the head coach. Mike DiGiorgio, uh, assistant with the defending CEBL champs. And a team that I haven't personally watched a full game, did a broadcast on that I'm looking forward to doing is Ridley College. Mm. Uh, they got Victor Razzo who's also the head coach of the Niagara River Lions. Loose ball foul. Foul is going to go against RNS. So Hazley will go to the line for Royal Crown. RNS has held the lead the entire game. 
And right now an opportunity to tie it up. Jordan Jensen White, former UBC star in U Sports, stepped in the building here because we got a edge coming up next. If I'm not mistaken, that's an edge Fort Erie matchup. Yep, that would be good. Would love to chat with him, get him on the on the broadcast for a moment if we can. But in the meantime, we got a tie ball game, Mr. Joe. Important possession here for RNS. Titus has been the guy to step up in moments like this. Kick out, he's got an opportunity. Three ball. Yup. Right on cue. Wow. He done did it again. Wow. Answering the call time after time. Can't respond. And now that is when Damian Gay is yelling. They tried. They tried to say he was yelling uh, in the last game. They no. called him for a team. Yeah. I didn't hear him. <laughs> I said uh, we, we'll hear him when he's yelling. Yeah, everyone in the gym heard him. People in the hallway probably heard him. <laughs> People in Niagara Falls heard yeah. him. Yeah. I love to see the passion, you know, intensity. This is the MPA guys. Yep. <laughs> okay. What's up, Hadi Al Khatib, in the mix all the way from Lebanon in Dubai. So he's uh, one of the two brothers who came from overseas for Fort Erie. Injured now until December, but he's going to be uh, making his debut in the NPA yep. December session. Titus Heron, can't say enough about him. I mean, he's been the story of this game. Yep. They are not leading the way the entire time without him. He's up to 19 points, five threes. Big threes too, uh, during, yeah. during the right moments. Take downhill, hard to stop. Leads back to five. So again, every time Royal Crown tied it up, RNS responds. It says a lot about this team in terms of just their mental toughness. You know, there's many times, not gonna lie to you, that I even thought, like, okay, this is when Royal Crown turns it up. This is when they take the lead, take control, but multiple guys have stepped up for RNS, especially Titus Heron. Way off. Oh, block. No, no continuation there. Royal Crown's really struggled from three point land. Yeah, and they keep taking them. Like they should uh, utilize their quickness, get to the rim, create easy opportunities. Mm -hmm. Tough shot by Farrell. Travel. Tried to back down the smaller Faro Nation, but there was some good weak side help there as well. Nice take. I like what I'm seeing there. I'm starting to see that inside-outside game. This is the most aggressive that I've seen, John, 
in the last couple games. Good D by Dorsey in the low post. 45 seconds left to go. Good block by Blake, collects it. One on three, wow. Great defense on both ends here. A couple possessions there so far. You see Faro Nation attacking the rim against two or three defenders. That's where he's got to pump the brakes, bring it back, set up the offense. Because you need your point guard to maintain composure of the team. Oh my goodness. Titus, on the other hand, he's got a green light. Yeah. <laughs> go against oh. two, go against three. And all of a sudden, RNS back up in a comfy lead of nine to close the third quarter here. Blake, last shot. Cross, good D. Great wow. defense at possession by RNS. They lead by nine going into the fourth quarter. That play right there, Joe. A microcosm of the game, nothing easy. RNS is giving nothing easy to Royal Crown. Yep. It's the end of the third, and we'll be back in a moment. Ten minutes left and what could be the upset of the session early on in the NPA season. RNS up by nine against Royal Crown. Ten minutes left. You see co uh, coach Chris Exilis trying to rally up the troops. He knows it's fourth quarter time. Yep. If you don't have a sense of urgency now, yeah. you might be in trouble as uh, goes into double digits, Joe. I feel like Sean Blake might go takeover mode. They're going to need him because he's yeah. been quiet. quiet. Big shot there by Xavier He. Shout out to Andrew Forrest. Our operations manager holding it down for us. Takes a team effort to put on this league, the NPA. RNS, tough bucket there for the big fella. Joe, he's been good. Yep. He's been exactly what RNS has needed. Just an interior presence. Get some offense going. Makes it a 10 point game. As RNS launches another three ball. Titus again. Wow. Big rebound by Dorsey. Hasn't seen a shot he does not like. <laughs> Shout out to everyone tuning in from across the country. Been loving your guys' feedback and the insights in the commentary. Keep them coming. Rainer for three, no good. Another offensive rebound by Greg Dorsey. Doing all the little things this Oof. game. Back to none other. Titus wow. Heron. He is, well, guys, I have to call him all reliable because when you need a big shot, in this case, they got a comfortable lead, but now they're like, 
applying pressure here, trying to yeah. trying to put that dagger. Yeah, yeah. We're like, just gonna we're gonna chop it up. Gonna keep it going. All right. I was gonna we say I really overtime. those back to back offensive rebounds by Greg Dorsey were huge. And then on the other end, the whole game he's been doing a great job of containing six ten Declan Cutler mm -hmm. on Royal Crown. I was looking forward to that matchup coming into this game, and uh, he's had the upper hand defensively. You know, offensively he hasn't been scoring as he much as much as he has the first two games. Mm -hmm. But those two offensive rebounds, he's just doing all the little things that are contributing to winning. And, and playing his role. They're letting their guy cook, Titus. Everyone's cooking in their own way, right? You know, yep. Titus there to basically get buckets. Faro Nations there as a secondary, uh, you know, scoring option at the guard position. And um, big fella, like you said, you know, he's been playing his role masterfully, defending, getting those put back tips. And I think what we're seeing is RNS coming together and understanding. Who does what on that roster? Yep. They have played the most amount of games so far out of anyone in this first session, so they've been able to get into a rhythm. Tripped up. So Titus has 24, but it's probably the loudest 24 I've seen. It feels like he has 40. <laughs> probably because he has six threes. It does feel that way. And they've come at perfect times, too. Yep. That's the key. They're not like just garbage points. It's like when they needed a bucket, he's provided yep. it. Fumbled. good there by Blake. One thing I've yet to see from Royal Crown is somebody on the court, one of the players step up and be that local, excuse me, vocal leader. Mm. You know, organize the team, show some passion, some emotion. Yep. It just seems like they're coasting. Need, the, need some energy, need some emotion, some intensity, some pride. Justice Hazy go to the line for three. can you see a team out of Rothsay, New Brunswick fly into Ontario as an underdog and potentially pull off an upset against one of the top programs in the country in Royal Crown out of Toronto. It's far from over, tons of time left. Sean Blake trying to get busy. Here comes Faro Nation on the attack. Usually a lefty finisher off there. Oh, snuck up behind him. Didn't see him coming. Goes right back up again, man. Attack Lefty. mode every time. Yeah. And it just seems that the whole game, RNS has been in full attack mode, like yeah. just offense, offense, offense. It's a big test for Royal Crown mentally right now. Like, how do they respond yep. knowing that they're down? They've been down the entire game, they have not led once. They're down 13, there's seven minutes to go. How do you respond? Yep, a lot of basketball left to be played. Tons of basketball left to be played. We're still in October. <laughs> We're just starting. Can 
not leave RNS open right now. They're feeling it all game from three, and Faro Nation was waiting patiently. Wide open for three. Makes Royal, Count, Royal Crown pay. Oh. Up 14 now. On the brink of breaking this game wide open. Honestly, if I'm Royal Crown, I'm doing that all day. I'm feeding the big. Yeah. Just keep slow, slow down the pace a little bit. Just every possession down, give one of the bigs a touch. Somebody that's with his back to the basket, giving the guard a clear cut target, and just get physical. Get physical down low. The three ball clearly hasn't been falling. But at least establish something in the interior to be able to open up the floor. If I'm a youth sport coach in the building, I know a couple are or watching on, on the stream. I'm offering Titus Heron a scholarship on the spot. 100%. I mean, he's doing it at the highest level. Yep. You know, he's got you got provincial team players. you got some national team guys. Like, he's going up against a Division One point guard. There you go. And he's well, already won. Him. Game speaks. Game speaks. He's been the player of the game. We said it earlier. This is an opportunity for Titus to make his mark on the national stage. And he's doing just that. He's at what? Maybe... 5'10", five, five, maybe 5'11", you know. if we give him, you know, a little, little media boost. Yeah. But just a bucket getter, a gamer. You sport, CCAA, I mean, yeah. depending on his situation grades-wise, what he wants to do, but... You know, he's definitely a next-level guy, and one guy that comes to my mind that kind of fits the mold, Javon Masters. Mm. Played at the University of New Brunswick, set all sorts of records as a... Uh, youth sports records as well as Atlantic Canada conference records. Uh, kid out of Kitchener, about five, same thing, 5'10", five, 5'11", five, just bucket, gamer, winner. Um, and, he, and he reminds me a lot about a lot of Javon Masters. Mm. Is he a brother of Marcus Masters? He is the older brother, older brother. indeed, okay. of and, Marcus Masters. And alum. Yep. Who I believe also played at the same school, if I'm not mistaken. Marcus played actually at TBA. Javon Masters, shush, where did he play? I want to say, we're going to have to go to Google on that one. No. We can't remember it all. There's a lot of history. But he also did, uh, Javon did coach as well mm. at uh, one of our exposure camps. The web is very connected. Yep. And uh, Coach Damian Gay doing a good job of preparing his guys for the pressure, meaning the full court press. They broke it pretty easily. Titus Heron gives it up to Nation. Heavy lefty, sorry, strong lefty, misses it. Wow. Erratic. Coach uh, Mike DiGiorgio and uh, Coach Exodus trying to mix it up, add some pressure. Uh, seeing a back-to-back -back possession, some full court pressure. Probably a good idea. Let's see what type <coughs> of composure RNS has. Okay, 10 point game. Let's see if they can get some momentum going. Still very much an open game, you yeah, know, lots of time left. Sure. Arnes is playing with swagger now. <laughs> yeah. They're playing like it's a national championship game. They're playing with the attitude like I'm him. <laughs> That's what they're doing yeah. right now. Because before it was like they came out, all right, you know, we got a lead. It's cute for the first quarter. But now it's like, okay. Yeah. They, they feel it. Like they're confident they can close the deal yep. here. Yep. And we're going to see if they can, Joe. Mm -hmm. 5-13.
All right. Five minutes left to go. Ten point game. Arnes is up. See if they close it out. Good D. Very out of sorts there, like not getting a clean look. Ah. Sean Blake trying to get the contact to get oh. the follow up. You know, typically that's his bread and butter being able to finish. It's been a little off in this one. Big scramble on the floor. What's it gonna be? The ref with the animated call. The, dra ah. the drama. Yeah, I know. Looks like they called a push on uh, Royal Crown. Pass. Out of bounds, four seconds on the shot clock. I mean, we got, I think we just set a record, Joe, for this session. We got over 100 people <laughs> tapped in. Nice. Following this upset live, you know, so that's. Ah, uh, scramble. We got action. Wow. The word is circulating that we're about to see the upset of the session. But it'll be interesting to look back at this a couple months down the road just to see where these squads are exactly. Yep. We call it an upset now just because, you know, on paper we might be more familiar with the prospects mm -hmm. on this side. But yep. I mean, both sides have provincial team guys. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's just some are from Atlantic Canada, some are from Ontario. Exactly. But I think any time you have a, uh, Atlantic ta Atlantic Canada squad take on an Ontario squad, I think naturally they just take on that, that chip yeah. on their shoulder, you yeah. know, just based on the population size. Okay. Got, yeah, both coaches and refs. A lot going on right now. Yeah. You're seeing some leadership on both sides. Seeing Sean Blake call the guys into the huddle. <laughs> right on cue, you hear Damon barking at the refs about not being from Toronto. <laughs> so again, that chip on the shoulder is real. Yeah. So like I love it. It was like it was like he's listening to the broadcast yeah, right now. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> nice Ooh. take by Hazley. And this is RNS's last game of the session, so if they can get this dub, they're going to be going back home. They're going home with a smile on their yeah. face. Ooh! Oh, man. Told you, a couple of those attempts are just he's, like, whoa. He's going to put it down one time, yeah. and it's going to be nasty. I mean, he already has, so. Got Edge coming in for their next game against Fort Erie Red. We got some good games. It's been, it's been really good today. Very competitive games, even that Lincoln LBA one. Yep. Uh, the, that last take by Hazley, like that was the first time maybe all game that I could recall where someone got into the lane for Royal Crown and just made it look easy. Like, yeah. It wasn't a contest or, you know, yeah. they actually just got clean, a clean, clean bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Arnes has big, made, been making it tough for them all game. Dorsey no good on the second. Nine point game, 3.30 left. One possession at a time if you're Royal Crown. There's Blake getting to the rim. Second one now. That's what they gotta do. Yep. Those two guards put pressure on the rim. And you're, right. you're, seeing, loud. The lead. you're seeing the lead shrink a little bit. It's Seven getting, points. It's getting loud in here. 
Thanks to everybody tuning in from coast to coast. Over 100 strong, plus everyone in attendance. I think it's safe to say, Joe, the NPA is officially back. Yep, for sure. We're back like we never left. Yep. God dang it. Don't get me hyped, Joe. It looks like uh, might be, they might be handing out a tech. Royal Crown got to keep their composure right now. Emotions are high. Tensions are high. I mean, there is a lot at stake in terms of every game in the NPA in terms of, again, teams are flying from all over the country. They're, they've invested so much into this. Mm. And on top of that, like, Reputation, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Royal Crown has been building a strong reputation in the basketball scene and the basketball community, doing a great job building up the program. And they would they would take this, if they were to lose, they would take this person, yeah. you know? Now also knowing Coach Giorgio, Chris Exlis, they're gonna use this if it was to be as as fire for the rest of the, for yeah. the, rest of the season. <laughs> Championships are won in March, we know this. Yep. March Madness. This is all development at this point. Charge. Way to get to the spot, Pharaoh Nation. It's a big momentum play there. It's three minutes to go. RNS up nine. I thought he was going to throw it yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> Deciding to take their time. John wide open for three. No good in and out. Good shot, though. He didn't hesitate that time. Eight-point game, 2.39 left. Dorsey inside, easy lay, too easy. Ten-point game. Nice lay that time. I mean, I know that RN, or excuse me, yes, that RNS has been in full control. I think, it, is that fair to say? They've been in full control yeah. all game? Yep. Haven't trailed. No, but, they haven't. But it's only an eight point game with 219 left. Yeah. So I mean, it's still far, far from, from over. Yep. I mean, I think it's safe to say also, Joe, that people are talking. We have set a live broadcast record right now for this session, of course, uh, not at all time, and for this season, over 125 plus tuned in from across the country. And uh, you'd love to see the parody though. Three ball, big shot, wow, big, big shot. shot right there. Needed that, six says, point game, two possession game. Game is not done. Lob, nope. Nice floater by Rayner. Rayner making it rain right now. They've always had the answer. Yeah. Lefty lay is no good. Declan Cutler rebound inside, no good. Collected by Pharaoh Nation. Gonna walk it down. They should look to take their time. Get a quality look. Kick out, Titus. 
Why, why are you leaving him open? All reliable. Why is he open? All reliable. He's only done that about eight times this game. I think it's safe to say that he is him. And I am I. <laughs> He's him indeed. Oh, I man. am affirmations. That's what he's on right now. He's saying, I'm that guy when the squad needs a bucket. Give me a call. 29 points, 7 for 14 from beyond the arc. Five reba six rebounds. Zero turnovers. Wow. How about that? He doesn't have the, the ball in his hands long Eight. enough. He just catches it and launches it. Yep. Lead is at 11. RNS, a few stops away from walking away with this dub. We're going to have a timeout and return to the final 121. One minute, 18 seconds left to go. Sean Blake with the rock. They're down 11. Peter for three, no good. RNS, they got the ball. Ooh, oh, we were, we were waiting. Yeah, that, that would have been the... Oh, oh Dorsey she, almost. They're trying oh, to put the exclamation mark on there. 13 point lead, under one minute left. You let John get loose in transition and... Oh! Acrobatic take. Wow. What a victory in the making it is for RNS. Yeah. I mean, like you said, Joe, this would be the first win of the session and of the season, if I'm not mistaken. For who? For RNS. No, no, no. They're, one, they're coming in one and two. They beat uh, North Star. Ah, okay, so we're talking yeah. about a 500. Yep, two and two, fourth game, going back home with a big dub. All of uh, the population of Rothsay and Netherwood will be waiting for RNS at the airport. Yeah, they should be. With signs. <laughs> Titus. They just got to hold it, really. Alba oh, Farrell no, says, I'm going to let it go. To, uh, wants to add. Added a missed field goal to the stat sheet on that one. Oh, they're rolling it in. Peter, that's 17 points for him. He's had a solid game. Quiet, but, 17. Yeah, wasn't quite enough. Unless they're able to do something crazy here. 10 points, 30 seconds. They would have to steal it, shoot a three, steal again, shoot a three. One thing I'm, I'm it's not surprising, but like I'm, I'm definitely feeling it, seeing it, getting feedback and whatnot from different sides. Like the level of competition is very high. Yeah. Uh, you know, Charles mentioned, Coach Charles mentioned it earlier. As long as uh, keep it on the floor, it's all good. Yeah. 
but guys are are competing. I mean, all session we've seen teams competing at a high level, yep. and it's October. But you can see like they're playing for something. Yeah, you know what I mean. I would have liked to see Isaiah Spencer a little more in this game. Yeah, he had a bucket earlier in the first half and haven't heard from him since. No. I think he needs to. I think he could be a good six man for them. Well, Royal Crown's going to definitely take a lot from this. They'll be, I'm sure, watching game film. But might might have spoken too early, too soon, because they ain't going down easy. They ain't going down like that. 85-80, big swing here. Big momentum shift, 13.9 left. Damn. We Quick got timeout. a game. Five point game suddenly out of nowhere. 14 seconds left. Quick timeout break. All right, let's see if, oh. It's a lot of pressure right there. 10 seconds. So that sense of urgency we just saw on the inbound, if that had been extended for at least half the game, I think could have been a different yeah, result. for sure. Could be a great wake up call for Royal Crown early in the season, as I was saying. A lot of teaching moments here. Yep, we're gonna see Royal Crown again tomorrow against Edge at noon. Okay. So that'll be another tough matchup for them, but we'll see how they respond. Looking forward to that one. Seven points in seven seconds. Quick Patrick. They went out gunning, but that's gonna do it. Point one seconds left. They could just let it go. Roth say Netherwood school. Scrapping it up. Oh, we got it. Okay, so that's gonna do it. RNS got the win against Royal Crown, 87 to 80. Game of the day, game of the session. If you didn't see the whole thing, play it back. Watch it from the start. And if you're watching this uh, session, which we, uh, we did set a record. Tune into the next one. Let's see what we got cooking over yep. here. We got Fort Erie, the home squad against Alberta's Edge Prep. Yep. It's going to be a good one. Tipping off shortly. <laughs> 